I cannot hear Xandra, by the way. Hello. There she is. Hi. Hi, hey. Xandra. Hello. You're live, dear. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Let me just restart this. Or dot. No, I actually need to restart. Hold on. What's the thing here? There we go. Perfect. Hello again, Xandra. What is this game that you have for us today? Okay, so this is Cosmo Tank. Um, can you hear the game audio real nice? I see folks saying they can't hear it. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right, we're working on fixing that. Okay, one moment, one moment. I will, I may need to restart my thing. Just the thing, just a moment. I'm, I need, I'm, oh, this might be my capture card. Uh, one moment, I will be right back. Sure thing. We have a $50 donation from some egrets. It just says, honk. Thank you, some egrets. All right, and we're back. Hey. Hey. Whew. All right, sorry about that. Sometimes, uh, you know, sometimes my setup decides, you know what, what if we didn't listen to game audio? I'm sure this 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 game doesn't have incredible music or anything. Oh, my gosh, it's so good, but we never get to hear it because <laughs> we never get to hear it. I cannot hear it. How about now? Now I can hear it. Okay, good, yeah. Whew. Okay, good. All right. Are you, are you ready? Are you ready to Cosmo Tank? We are ready to Cosmo Tank. Perfect. Okay. So, got everything ready. Okay. Then I'm just gonna. Oh, right, right. Okay. So, we actually start when I press A or B here. Okay. So I'm gonna count things off. Ready to go? Yep. Go ahead. Count us down. Perfect. Perfect. So, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Thank you. So, um, so I'm gonna start with serious time. Up, run over one crab. Left, run over another one. Shoot three times. Cross our fingers. Perfect. There we go. That was RNG manipulation uh, devised by Aura who uh, figured out how to get these uh, black beetles to spawn reliably at the start. We want those to spawn because 
they always drop a power up and we need 20 of these to get the most powerful weapon in the game and that makes the entire run way faster so um i used to just oh there we go well we lost our luck that's fine i used to just go into this base here come back out and then hope this happens but now we have a way to reliably get a few of them to spawn at the start so this is cosmo tank uh liz liz you 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 know what cosmo tank is right i do no i've never seen this game before <laughs> I want to. you didn't make me play it or anything <laughs> this one i actually did play i did not play uh space mouse but i did play this um so this is a very unique and interesting game. Uh, it is obviously a Game Boy game, and it is one of the most ambitious Game Boy games I can think of, because it has a lot of different, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, a lot of different modes to it. Right now, it's a top-down like uh, I don't know what you'd call it, just a tank shooter. It it's it kind of gives um, oh what's that game on uh, NES? friend toad likes a lot when you start a level it says this battle will make your blood boil and i can't remember the name of the actual <laughs> game i can remember everything else about the game Ooh, we got wiggle right, beam we did it we got the wiggles we got the wiggle beam it's good we're all good now let's go into the actual first person dungeon crawler mode yep this game has a lot of different modes get used to it yep that was the first person dungeon mode okay I was thinking of Jackal. Thank you. Thank you, Jackal. Jackal. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a little jackal -y, uh, on, yep. on when you're outside. Is it a jackal? It's a jackal-y. Except, except we play a tiger. Specifically, Tiger Alpha One is the name of this tank. She's great. She uh, can go into lots of places. Right now, we're going into all these different colony worlds. Um, because, okay, <clears throat> uh, humanity has, like, uh, been, you know, settling in, in various little uh, rather inhospitable planets. And, you know, they're just, just doing our thing. And then uh, some jerk came around and starting, started building an army of robot bugs and, and sending them everywhere. So now we're here to stop the robot bugs who are destroying everything. Here's the third gameplay mode. Um... Yep. There's, I, I've seen a game like this on the Super Scope. Uh, and basically, um, you can see kind of like the, the darker green that's like up and to the right of the radar. Uh, if it hits there and to the middle, uh, we take damage. But if you're facing more away from it, we don't take damage. Yep, if you don't look at the bullet, it can't hurt you. Exactly. This is how this works, especially when it's, we're talking like, energy beams from space bugs. You want to go to another planet? I would love to go to another planet. Let's turn into a starfighter and go to another planet. And here's the fourth gameplay mode. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game so much. This game has a lot of different games in it. Yep, because if you're going to go to multiple planets, why not go there in style? I can't wait till we get to the dating sim portion of this game. <laughs> I would love that, honestly. Like it's, I, I kind of just came across this game at a, a, a you know, like a, a video store when I was a kid and decided to give it a shot and I just fell in love. And I've, I've had it since. And it kind of like just, you know, I, I stopped thinking about it until I saw Author Blues do a speed run of this. And then I realized, wait, I can, I can speed run this game. So, all Ever right, since I have like tried many different things, and also uh, the route has changed considerably. All right, Xandra, hate to interrupt. Uh, my time has come to an end. I know it's awkward in the middle of a run, but I'm going to hand it on over to my good friend Nicole Goodnight, who's going to be taking over as host for me for now. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye, Zoe. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Hi, Nicole. Hey. Just in time, we just landed in Manoa. Yeah. I'm excited. It's the forest planet. Yep, absolutely. Now we, we are up to meet with our friend who will uh, give us something cool for our tank. Uh, she always looked like my friend Andy, so I just call her Andy. Hi, thank you. That's our cool tank. Now we have the harbor unit. Harbor unit is very important because it lets us go to the planet where there's water. 
That's pretty much it. It's a key. It's oh, by the way, did I did I mention this game is a Metroidvania? <laughs> this game is a lot of things. Yep. Now we have the hover unit, which lets us go to the planet Aquel, which is very important because the planet Aquel has a an important upgrade that the task for uh, this game skips. But I, I like to get it for marathon safety, but also because um, it makes it saves incredible amounts of time for the final boss, which more than makes up for uh, the time spent getting it. Okay, just gonna keep going through here. Um, also, it's an RPG because you just leveled up. I did, I just leveled up. Now we're about to fight the worst boss in the game. Yeah. I really don't like this centipede. Not a fan. I'm a huge arcade girl. I love my arcade games, but centipede, this centipede, I could do without. Yep, yep. Big old jerk, does a lot of damage. Um, the big, the big cross-shaped beams will stun me if they hit me, which means uh, they will likely have another chance of hurting me. All this happens, and then they just leave. Like we're in the middle of a boss fight here. Time is of the essence. Don't just leave. So, <laughs> oof. There we go. Don't modulate the key and not debate with me. Sorry, <laughs> Hamilton reference. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe is over here <laughs> continuing the rest of the song. Thank you, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, and, and and just like that, that was Manoa. Now we need to go to Aquel. So yeah, you like casually. This is a fun game to play because you know you, you go around the planets, you find some stuff. You, oh, thank thank goodness, butterflies. Butterflies are the best way to get in space. Yeah, that's literally just mash the button. That is the one thing I was not the biggest fan of in th with this game is that uh, it has no auto fire. Um, you no. do have to mash, and it it, it hurts the hands. It super does. I'm thinking of like just uh, you know uh, talking it over with the uh, with the Cosmo Tank speedrunning community. Uh, and just asking, like, hey, can we just make like an auto fire category? Because this game is just murder on the box. Honestly, more more games should allow auto fire. Mm, we we do need to like. I mean, there's a reason why this game doesn't have auto fire, and that's the pulse unit that's we're going to pick up is a like uh, a charge yes. ability. So, but it, it does like. I mean, we. I'm I'm playing this with a SNES controller right now. So I mean, there's there's buttons. There's buttons enough. To be kind to our thumbs. Also, this is a great time for donations because I'm just sailing through space with the greatest of ease. <laughs> we actually have a $500 donation. Ooh, oh snap! What? Yes, from Natalie93, and they say trans rights. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for that donation. You are fantastic. It means a lot. Thank you, Natalie. We've arrived in the planet Aquel. So uh, last summer, some folks ran this game as a, a first time experience and just casually found this shortcut, which shaves maybe three minutes off the run. So I'm very happy because that got, basically let me have uh, go back and, do, and get a world record. So this is why we get the pulse unit now because it just takes practically no time and all, it's, all it requires us to do is beat up this big robot jerk. There we go. Now, we have the pulse unit. And if we ever, oh, by the way, if we ever lose all our health and our tank explodes, we lose the wiggle beam. And that means, uh, like, every boss takes three times as long because that's just how much powerful, how powerful the uh, wiggle beam is. But thankfully, now we have the pulse unit, which does about as much damage just requires you to um, charge it up beforehand. But this basically makes this game marathon safe because now if you uh, lose the wiggle beam, it's fine. You can just still rely on the pulse on the pulse beam and everything's still good. You can still you can still go to space. All right, just gonna have to deal with this flying brain. A lot of exposed brains. Uh, with these bosses, I'm not. Maybe the designer of these robot bugs just had the very like specific 
design like Credo. You know what? I'm always going to make giant bosses with exposed brains because that's very scary. Yeah, it's also just a cool concept. This boss yeah. is definitely the easiest. Mm. The only uh, the only problem with this boss is that sometimes if you destroy only one... Also, hey, location damage. If, if you destroy only one of their little boosters, the speed at which they, they uh, move makes it likely that you, they will keep hitting you as you try to chase after them. Thankfully, that didn't happen this time. All right, and we have liberated another planet from Robot Box. Okay, now we just need to head back to the starport, launch back up, and we have only two planets left until we can finally face the great big bad person who is causing all this trouble. Casually, it probably took me until about, like, an hour in to get this far. <laughs> yep. I, they also, this is like a, a Game Boy game, uh, a very old school Game Boy game, which means no passwords, no saves. It's just, nah, just good luck. If you, if you, like, don't beat the game in one sitting, you have to start over. But yeah, thankfully, it's fairly quick once you learn how to do it. Oh, uh, we should actually um, talk about how lenient and not lenient it is with uh, game overs. And yes, absolutely. Uh, so the the um, this game is a sort of uh, like RPG in that you gain levels. Levels uh, give you a longer life bar. Uh, you have three lives. I don't think there's a way to earn more of them. Uh, if you lose a life, your weapon goes back to the initial level one weapon, but you still get the pulse unit if you have it. If you lose all three lives, uh, you your level goes back to one, which means my health bar will be tiny, which makes this game very difficult. It might require like in a casual playthrough to go back and grind a little bit, but thankfully like dying never makes you lose like progress. It always just puts you back where you are. It's just, it's, it's, it's rough. I love the oh. uh, the little stingrays. They're so nice. They're really neat. I love stingrays so much. They're like water puppies. They're just they like are, so nice. They're sea pancakes. They like being pet. <laughs> Especially by me. I'm a Disney princess oh. with uh, <laughs> with stingrays. Ooh. So can oh, you can okay. you explain your use of bombs? Yes, I use bombs against those jerks because they're very mean. Especially here. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm gonna try to... Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. Yeah, uh, some of the, um... Oh, trying to get into a better spot here. Some of the enemy waves on Planet Gadam are extremely mean because they send you enemies you're normally not supposed to face on, gra on the land. Also, that was not a health up section, so... It was um, a hint. Oh. A useless hint. Thank you. Thank you, game. I mean, it's, you know, the game doesn't know that I know everything about... That's fair. Well, no, I know some stuff. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna play this extra safe. You got this, I believe. Thank you. Ah. Okay, we should have a life re refill after this. Thank you. Okay, good, perfect. So uh, this is probably where most runs end because this planet has a lot of instant death uh, traps and uh, also just some really, really rude enemy waves. So we're just gonna do our best. And also, if you see any sand pits, please do not jump into them. Aww. Okay. I know, I know. There's no, like, no antlion friends down there. Just You never just let me have any fun. Well, if there's space yeah. mice down there, I want to hug okay, them. Okay, well, after, after the run, you can go. Okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not fighting these bosses just for fun. Uh, I'm, I basically need to destroy, liberate these two little stations, because doing that will open up a door in the next dungeon segment. Uh, that's one of the, one of the things you learn playing this game casually. Like, also, all of the other little bases I go in, they have friends in there. They often give, like, helpful tips and stuff. I just, 
I already know him, so I don't want to waste their time. Okay, grab some bombs. Bombs save a lot. Okay. <sighs> okay, that was it. That was the hardest part in the game. Uh, if you Ooh. fall into one of these pits, instant explosion, you're gone. And we don't want that. Okay, let's just jump into this hall. Ah, perfect. Okay, so let's see. Got it. Bombs are great because when this jerk appears uh, and just tries to waste your time, you can just keep going. Yeah, he moves really fast and like dodges you a lot. So um, yeah. if he kind of gets out of your range, you can just bomb him. Um, yep, I'm, I'm not a fan. You have a bunch of maps set aside for um, more more exposed brains. You have a bunch of maps set aside for this game, I know, because you are not super great with uh, directions, you said? <laughs> I guess I get constantly lost. In real life, also in a lot of like first-person games, so I have a bunch of maps. Uh, I, have, I have one, I have my little like sheet of maps open in front of me, because otherwise I... I, some some runners like are good enough to memorize this game. I am not, so I, I just have a little visual aid. I would probably be able to. I'm extremely good with directions and and mazes once I learn them, even though I hate them. Mm. Uh, I say, being a speedrunner of Return to Zork, um, <laughs> which is like what's a map? Thirty percent mazes. Of course I do. <laughs> um, but uh. Yeah, it's uh, it, there's there's no shame in you know having some notes for a speed run. I it 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 it, it means a lot to hear that because like yeah sometimes so I, sometimes you just can't remember a lot of stuff especially when like this is on the Game Boy so like there is not a lot of room for individuality when it comes to dungeons. All yeah. of the dungeons look exactly the same in first person mode. So there's like, it is very, very easy to get lost. Honestly, it's impressive that they managed to fit four different gameplay styles into one game with a right? bunch of elements from a bunch of different uh, genres. Like this game is already jam packed and it has incredible music. Yep, it's the music, like, the, the music for like, uh, the main overworld theme is incredible if you manage to like stay on the overworld long enough to let it let it play. I I love it. I genuinely love this game. I'd love to like at some point make like a spiritual successor to it because it's just I love games that are multiple games. It's just it's just so much fun. As as a as a dilettante who loves to like do many things myself, I really appreciate games that also try to be many things. Mm -hmm. Will your game have about... sting race? Space space rays? I mean, it probably should. It should. Why not? Please. <laughs> <laughs> for me. Oh, of course. For you, anything. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're on the planet DN1, the living planet. We need to. I, this give planet a makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. Don't, I don't like the pulsating. No, the pulsating is a lot. Let's just throw ourselves into this hole. Okay, we take a left here. Hey, hey, open up. Thank you. The as far as I know, oh, by the way, um, bit of RNG manipulation that I did at the start, courtesy of my girlfriend Aura. Uh, that took a lot of doing because this game's uh like RNG seed, like every nearly every single thing you do will affect RNG. Like, uh, turning around 180 affects RNG. Every time you shoot, every enemy that dies affects RNG. So it is very tricky to get a reliable, like, uh, set of things to happen every time. Which is why we do RNG Manip at the very start, and then never again, because it would just require entirely too much coordinate. Whoop! No, no, get, get back out here, you. I know it's weird outside, but you gotta do it. There we go. <laughs> That's a mood. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we have to be careful not to let the bombs kiss, because the world, the world, like, cannot withstand their love. Sad, sad tale, I know, but we kind of have to. Which is a fancy way to say, no, they just blow up real good if you, if you let them... 
Okay, this one is right. This one is going fishing. Go left, and then you swing up, throw your throw your lure, and then you catch an exit. There we go. Okay, also, uh, <clears throat> hey, it's bring your child to work day. This boss just needs a little bit of, like, encouragement to bring their child to work. We're just waiting for this to happen, because then they will be very distracted and easier to destroy. The child, though, is fine. It's gonna fly around, throw little party favors. We love you, you're great. And we just carefully avoid the damage. We let, we let them fly, just have fun. We're only concerned with the big bad boss. There we go. Ah, <sighs> everything's good. <gasps> What's this? There's a friend inside that capsule. Oh, you didn't hey. blow him up. Nope. <laughs> now we get the sensor unit, the final unit. There is an Easter there egg uh, for that, where <laughs> if you if you use a fully charged shot, it's a skeleton instead that talks to you. Yep. It's sometimes you use a little bit too much power. Not this time though, because we're it, nice. Yes. It's a cute. It's a cute Easter egg. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you bonehead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. So now we're going off to the final, the final planet, which is the, uh, uh, the final planet, which is, no, the final planet, which is a, uh, large, uh, a large space, a large robot bug itself. And on it, uh, we will be facing many foes, but specifically we will be facing the ultimate foe, the ultimate space bug, Greg. Now we just need to fight these kiss band stagehands. This game has a lot of art it rarely uses, which is great because even on multiple playthroughs, you will find like little enemies like, oh, I've never seen this enemy before. <laughs> and even though they have a limit, a hard limit of four enemies in the screen at once, they, they're really good at making you feel like there's more. Oh, hi. Surprise, it's a mid boss. It has so much to it for the Game Boy. It's very impressive to me. There we go. Whew, we made it. Well, we're descending on the enemy fortress, but I, I get what you're saying. Whoop. Okay, so we take a right, we go up. Try not to... Okay, good, 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 good. Perfect. So then we do a loop-de-loop -loop to the left. And then... You know you know what any good game has on the final level, Liz? What was that? I I was hoping I would be done by the time I, I reached this room. Ah, oh, dang it! Oh, bugs, please! I'm, I was, was trying to set up a thing Almost here. there. Could it it's a boss be rush. A boss rush? <gasps> Oh my gosh, my Capcom is tingling. <laughs> I need it. I should get an ointment. Also, hey, shout out to this boss who actually like requires you to aim up or down, which <laughs> is very rare for bosses. So I like the pulse unit because you can charge it while the boss is off screen and it helps like optimize the amount of damage you're doing. Since this is a uh, mostly a uh, boss rush of bosses we've already fought, would it be a good time for some more donations? Absolutely. All right. Well, I would like to take everyone. I would just like to remind everyone that Frostbite Towels and other Hotfix events and shows are brought to you by viewers like you. Your subscriptions and bits help keep the channel running for these events, including shows like Frostbite Towels, Random Number Generation, Retro Reboot, Time Capsule, Learning with Liz, and more. I've heard of that one once or twice. Learning with Liz. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd ever want to learn with me? Oh, a lot. I of would. Yeah. <laughs> sure, many people would. Maybe you could teach Cosmo Tank to someone. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that would be really fun, actually. Well, maybe I'll look into that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, take a left here, then another left. All right. Hey, it's time for our not favorite boss, but it's okay, because now that we have 
the pulse unit, this boss is even faster because we can charge during the time where they're off screen or where we have to uh, avoid their big attack. Yeah, there we go. Yep, that was much faster. All right. Oh, by the way, this game has a bunch of... Like, we, we don't really see them in the speedrun, but there's a bunch of um, mid-bosses. There's uh, mid-bosses that either give you access to the map of each dungeon, so you can like visually see where you are and where the important places are. There's other mid-bosses that actually uh, take away health from the planet's boss to make that fight easier. There's like a lot more to it that I'm not really showing because I'm just like going through as fast as humanly possible. It is faster to just continue to deal more and more damage to the boss than to use the the other mi uh, mini bosses to shave health off. Even though those bosses are actually very easy and they do go down quickly, but I'm sure a lot of it is it, it doesn't. I, I didn't really notice a difference in the health. Yeah, it's not it's not that great. And also, you just you just spend so much time getting to the other bosses, and also like the little the time it takes in random encounters, and also yep. the setup time and time after the boss fight. There's just too much to make it worth it. If you're pretty good with the wiggle, you're good. Okay, no boss rush would be complete without. The final jerk that we know and love. Well, I don't, I don't love him, but you know, some bits. Just leave me alone. Come on. Everyone's just so affectionate today. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, uh, Scythe Mantis. Really don't like Scythe Mantis. N not a fan. Not a fan. It's my favorite uh, Mega Man X Maverick. Oh, dang it. Okay. Um, I forget if we get a uh, refill, but yes, I, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. That, is, <sighs> that was very close. A little bit. Technically not a run killer, but it. it this is a really good run. Um, you've, you've been doing very well. Thank you. All right, here we go. Now the final loop. We are off to face Greg. You haven't, you haven't mentioned Greg. Yeah, 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 Greg. So Greg, the final uh, giant boss, the ultimate robot bug. Um, normally, like the tasks for this game uh, takes a very long time, basically like three to four minutes just to shoot the boss. But thankfully, now that we have the um, pulse unit, we can do some location-based damage and really just uh, make short work of Greg. And yes, the uh, the the ultimate the ultimate evil is called Greg. Yeah. Can't stop me now. Let's okay. Here we go. Having such it's a Greg good time. time. I'm throwing Having some balls. <laughs> so Greg, uh, Greg has a lot of uh, weapons and just you know general uh, scary final boss things. Uh, that little cross-shaped energy bolt, if it hits you, it doesn't stun you. It makes you leave the boss arena, and you have to do the fight over again. It is possibly the rudest weapon in this game. Okay, serious time. So um, the uh, the task does a thing where basically he has a force field uh, around him, uh, which makes time, it so you oh, by can't the way. hit him. Hmm? Sorry, time is coming up when when uh, the robot explodes. Yes, yes, please, please keep going. Uh, and you you can you can only get through it with the charge <laughs> shot, but the task gets, skips the charge shot. Ooh, oh no. Yep, yeah, nope, nope. Greg did us, but that's just a, a bad thing. But that's okay because we have the pulse unit. This is why we have it. Just in case something like this happens. Just in case something like this happens. Right. Now we're back to the original shot, but that's okay. 
It's it's genuinely not that much uh, slower than the um, charge th than the uh, level three shot. Um, I timed it, and if you're perfect with it, it's pretty much it's very 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 close. Uh, but yeah, so you can see as a force field unless you blow it off with the charge shot uh, lasers. But um, there is, if you are at the very bottom in the middle, you can uh, hit Greg using uh, a normal shot. Uh, it does not deal as much damage, and uh, it is um, very slow, but that's what the task did. Oh, yep. gotta blow up the brain, the exposed brain. Yep, there we go. Of course you do. All right. All right, Greg, please. We have other, other games to show off today. <laughs> And there we go, time. Time. Woo! GG. 3125. <sighs> Very good job. 3125. That's pretty good. That's like, that is, like, that used to be close to my, my best time before the new route. <sighs> Goodbye, Greg. So long, Greg. Now we can finally go back to our home and hopefully have meet, meet fewer robot bugs along the way. <laughs> it's an incredible track to carry us home. Yes. Ah, thank you, thank you so much for letting me show this game off. Like, I just, I love this. It's a piece of my childhood, and it's just like, it just, it just warms my heart to get to to, to show off where 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 it is now in terms of routing and just to introduce this like lovely little piece of Game Boy history to more folks. Well, you did absolutely incredibly, Xander, and thank you for uh, showcasing it. Uh, anything you. else you want to say before before we head on out? Just Shout like out. lots of love to Amber and Aura. Thank you, Aura, for uh, figuring out the RNG manipulation that was instrumental in the world record. Shout out to my good friends in the Xandraverse Discord. Bye, everybody. Thank, thank you. Also, thank you so much, Liz, for commentating. <laughs> no no problem. For, thank for... you for showing this game to me. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm just so glad. I'm just so grateful to be able to, to have shared this with y'all. Please take care, and let's, let's keep making wonderful things together. That was a super awesome run. Thank you so much. And if you are just joining us, I want to take a minute to remind everyone about the amazing charity that we are, the reason we're raising money, it is for Malala Fund. Malala Fund is working for a world where every girl can learn and lead. With more than 130 million girls out of school today, they're breaking down barriers that hold girls back through investing in local education activists, advocating to hold leaders accountable, and amplifying girls' voices. All of your donations are going to Malala Fund. It's an amazing fund, and I can't thank you guys enough. We've already raised $31,808 for this fantastic fund. So guys, let's hear it for you guys, because that is so amazing. You all are so fantastic. Thank you so, so much. And if you divert your attention to the goose on stream, that goose could be wearing a fantastic bow. If the Untitled Goose Game Any Percent Glitchless bid is met, not only will we not take off the bow in the game, we will also put the bow on in the text stream. I really want to see that goose have a bow. You really want to see that goose have a bow. We are at $590.20 out of $1,500 for that incentive. So let's get some bids in so we can see that adorable ribbon.
And it looks like we're also doing some super fun, poorly drawn video game art. Except for it's not really poorly drawn, it's amazing and adorable. We have a guess for Goat Mom. Lots of guesses for Goat Mom. We're gonna go with Goat Mom. That is a good Goat Mom, I agree. And also as a reminder, if you haven't seen yet, the Yeti is donating $5 per Frost Fatale shirt sold to Malala Fund. You can find the shirts at theyeti.com. They are super, super adorable. I cannot wait to get, there it is. Look at that shirt. It's so great. We have a new drawing going up. We've got some Shovel Knight guesses. You guys are so good at this. What could be coming next? Got a very good pup on stream right now. And again, we are only $909.80 away from a permanent bow on the Goose in the Goose game and on the Goose in the Tech Studio. Look at that bow. Just look at that bow. It's perfect. I want, oh no, <laughs> the Goose. The goose is okay. <laughs> the goose did, in fact, get loose. We also still have our incentive open for Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past 
file name choice. Uh, right now in the lead is Lonk with $558, followed by Frog for $50, and Honk at $33. So if you want to see one of those win, go ahead and get your bids in for that file name choice. We have a $5 donation from AcuteFish167. Loving these beautiful drawings. Thanks, Frost Fatales team, for making this event so fun all the way through. You guys work so hard. Love you. We love you too. Thank you so much for the donation. Everything, again, that's donated is going towards Malala Fund, which is just a fantastic, fantastic fund. So thank you so much for your donation. We're going to go ahead and see an ad from our Twitch.
And hello, hello, welcome back from that ad. Got a couple of donations I wanted to go over. I have $10 from Rinny MT. I was going to wait until after I did my run, but the goose needs that bow. I agree, guys. Gotta get that goose that bow. And another super cool incentive we have open right now is Hug the Goat. That's a donation bid for $1,500. If met, the final boss of Undertale will be hugged. And with that, I hear that we are ready for our next run. St. Hazel's Horse.